All right. Good morning, good morning. I'm just drinking my espresso. This is not alcohol, this is coffee. By the way, I love coffee. And what I want to talk about today is my favorite stoic principle that really has changed my life. And probably it will change yours if you start thinking about it, if you grasp it, and if you really implement it in your life. Now, if you don't know what stoicism is, uh, yeah, Google stoicism and learn more about it because in my opinion it's the best philosophical approach regarding leading um, a good life regarding leading a fulfilled life and regarding becoming a better version of yourself right i i see it mostly as a self-development concept for me um yeah and i have another video on my youtube as well about stoicism which is the introduction to stoicism you can watch it as well and I have another motivational video uh, from a podcast I did with Stratis a couple of years ago. You can watch this as well. But on, today on this video, I want to talk about the first thing I learned about Stoicism and the phrase that really stuck to my head. And basically, this is how I live my life every single day. And this comes from Epictetus. Okay. Now, Epictetus on a Heridion once said, Ton odon Okay, now, this is ancient Greek for what is up to us, what is not up to us, right? In other words, in our lives, there are some things that we can change, there are some things that we can control, but there are also many things that we cannot change, we cannot control, and we cannot influence, and therefore, we should only focus on the things that we can change and control and forget about everything else. Let me give you an example. Let's take business, for example. Your business is in crisis. Your business is in deep shit. You're losing money. You're not making money. And the economy sucks, right? You think, okay, what is up to me? What is not up to me? Up to you, or actually, it's not up to you, the fact that there is an economic crisis due to coronavirus and COVID-19, right? You can control it. You can influence it. Unless you are a god, maybe you are, I don't know. But if you're not, and I assume you probably aren't, yeah, you can change it. So you should accept it because it's not only you who is facing problems in his business because of COVID-19. There is literally every single person who has a business around the world. But you should focus on what is up to you. What is up to you? Run more ads. Uh, hire someone who's an expert. Do more lead generation, upload more videos, focus on another thing, adjust your business in a way that is COVID friendly. This is a cool word, by the way. Yeah, make your business COVID friendly, right? Something that really will help people during this crisis to help them adjust or die, in other words. Okay, so again, what is up to me? What is not up to me? What can I control? What can I, con I, what can I not control? Let's take another example regarding dating, right? Let's say that you are single and you are really feeling lonely and you want a girlfriend. And you see a beautiful woman and you want her, right? So what is up to you? What is not up to you? Ask yourself. So it is not up to you whether she likes, whether you go approach her and she likes you, right? Maybe she doesn't like you because you know, of your reasons, or maybe she's in a relationship. This is not up to you. But it is up to you to walk towards her and say hi and introduce yourself and meet her. This is up to you. It is up to you to text the girl that you want to invite on a date. It is not up to you to sit, right, and expect women to magically, you know, fall from the skies. This will be amazing. But it won't happen because men, uh, we lead those things, right? And you should initiate this thing, especially if you like the woman. Don't wait for things to happen. Make them to happen, okay? Uh, another example would be with your body, right? And this comes from my personal experience as well. You can look yourself at the mirror and see something that you don't like. You see yourself skinny or maybe too fat. It is not up to you to magically change your body. Oh, but it is up to you 
to work your ass off and go hit the gym every single day in order to transform your body, transform yourself and improve your physique, aesthetics and health, right? So in anything we do in our life, we need to remember this. What is up to us? What is not up to us? Only focus on doing, working and changing the things that you can influence. Everything else, you can influence it, you can change it, you can control it. So you shouldn't be worried about it, right? You cannot change the weather. You cannot control the weather. Um, you cannot control the politics. Okay, you vote, but you don't really, you know, control what happens behind the scenes. Uh, you cannot control what other people think about you. You cannot control what other people want from you. You cannot control what other people uh, feel about you. You cannot control your behavior towards these people. So if someone is talking shit behind your back about you, it's okay. You can control what he thinks or she thinks, but you can control whether this will influence you. If a girl or a guy doesn't like you, you can change his feelings, but you can make sure to you know, maybe do one more try and then move on and find someone who really will accept you and respect you for who you are, right? If your business facing problem, you can change the crisis, but you can adjust your business, right? So to conclude, Stoicism, guys, is the philosophy that really changed my life. I really, really, really suggest you learn more about it. Let me know what you think I thought about this video in the comments below. Give it a, a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. And remember that, for example, I cannot control who is going to like this video and subscribe to the channel. But I can control telling you right now that if you're watching this, you should subscribe now. And if you like this content, you should watch more videos. And I can also control to upload more videos so that you guys like my channel and subscribe. You see the concept? Everything in your life comes to this dichotomy of control. What you can control, what you cannot control. Everything that you cannot control, you throw a nuclear bomb into it and you forget about it. And you only focus on the beautiful things that you can control and you do your best to change them and improve yourself based on this. That's all I had to say. I'll see you very, very soon. Have a good one.